In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve some simple log equations. When we're solving simple log equations, such as the ones we're going to look at in this video, quite often, it's going to be much easier to work with them in exponential form. And so our first step is always going to be to convert the problem into exponential form. For example, in this first example, we have log base 5 of x equals 2. It might not be clear what number we need to plug into the log. But if we convert it to an exponential, where the base of the log is the base of the exponential, and the log equals an exponent, 5 squared equals x. Well, that becomes easy to solve, because 5 squared is just 25 is equal to x. It solves quite quickly when we have it in the right form. The one below it, similar, is just as easy, log base x of 8 equals 3. We might not be able to know what base to put in here to end up with 3 for an answer, but if we convert it to an exponent, where the base of the log is the base of the exponential, and the log equals the exponent, we get x cubed equals 8. We know how to solve this equation quite nicely, because the opposite of cubing is to take the cube root of both sides. Because cube and cube root are inverses, we're just left with x equals, and the cube root of 8, we know is 2. We can make these problems a little more involved, such as log base 2 of 3x plus 5 equals 4, but the pattern is still much the same. We're going to rewrite them as an exponential, where the base of the log is the base of the exponential, 2. What it equals is the exponent in the problem, and we make that equal to whatever was in the log, in this case, 3x plus 5. Well, we know what 2 to the 4th power is. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, equals 3x plus 5. And that gives us a simple two-step equation we can quickly solve by subtracting 5. Let me get this last example out of the way. Whoops. Try it this way. Subtracting 5 gives us 11 equals 3x, and then finally dividing by 3, x is equal to the fraction 11 thirds. So again, it's still a very simple pattern. If we can convert the log into an exponent, it probably will solve much quicker and easier than the alternative what form. But what if we have a problem like log of x equals negative 2? You might notice something is missing from this problem. What is missing is the base. It turns out that there are two logs that are used much more often than other logs, and one of them we're going to look at here, and that is what is called the common base. A common base we assume to be a base of 10, largely because of scientific notation and science applications. We use a log base 10 more frequently than a lot of the other bases. And so if there's no base written in a problem, we will always assume that means the base is 10. This is similar to when we see a square root of 9, we assume the index, whoops, it doesn't disappear on me. When we see a square root of 9, we assume the index is 2, asking what squared is 9, that's 3. Similarly, if we just see an x, we assume that the number 1 is in front of it. And again, in a log, if nothing is written as the base, we will always assume the base is 10. So when we, re when we rewrite this as an exponential problem, 10's the base, negative 2's the exponent equals x, and we just have to evaluate 10 to the negative 2, and we'll know what x is. Recall, a negative exponent creates a fraction, 1 over 10 squared, and 10 squared is 100. And so we have x is equal to 1 over 100. To solve a log equation, convert it to an exponent, where it will be much easier to solve the resulting equation.